Dear students, in this module, we are going to talk about the Sustainable Development Goals and Pakistan. So how these Sustainable Development Goals are applicable and adopted by Pakistan? It means that these goals are certain, producing certain standards to measure the social development in Pakistan. So these Sustainable Development Goals include no poverty, zero hunger, good health and well-being, uh, quality education, and clean drinking water, and uh, provision of uh, sanitation. So these sustainable development goals are set in order to improve or to make the situation of Pakistani Pakistanis for better living. Uh, number one goal is the no poverty so let's see that whether we have been able to reach to that goal or not. As we have discussed that 24% of the population is living below the national poverty line, whereas the 3.9% of population is merely uh, living on $1.9 a day, and 2.2% of the employed male population is earning below than $1.9 a day whereas the 2.7% of female population earns below than $2 a day. So in these terms, by looking at these statistics, we are quite far from that goal of no poverty. And then we have the second goal, which is zero hunger. So there is the prevalence of malnourishment and malnutrition among 20% of the population of Pakistan, which is the significant chunk of uh, Pakistani population. In other words, every fifth, fifth of the citizens of Pakistan is facing malnourishment. So 37.6% of children uh, of age five are stunted. They are also having the problems significantly, principally because of the malnourishment. So they are not well uh, physically growth, they are not well developed, or maybe some of uh, their abilities are stunted because of the malnourishment. And then 7.1% of children of below five years of age are wasted each year. They, and they die because of uh, lack of adequate health and medical facilities as well as lack of uh, uh, food resources. Uh, so 2.5% of children under five years of age are also considered to be overweight. So you see that uh, zero hunger goal has also not been achieved and we are quite far from achieving that goal as well. And goal three was the good health and well-being. So we see that the maternal uh, mortality rate is 140 per 1,000 live births in Pakistan, and neonatal mortality rate is 42 uh, p uh, children per 1,000 uh, uh, live births in Pakistan. So in other, uh, in other words, that 42 children out of 1,000 children born uh, are dying in the early age. And 265 per 100,000 people in Pakistan are suffering from tuberculosis, um, which is pretty much a curable disease nowadays. 24.7% of the mortality rate is attributed to cardiovascular diseases, cancer, diabetes, and other chronic respiratory diseases. And then goal four is to have the quality education of available for Pakistanis. However, we see that 87.3% of female population participate in the organized learning for year one before the official primary uh, official age of entering into the school, whereas the 100% of male population participate in organized learning of year one before the official primary age of entering into the school. And we see that the 78% of primary teachers have received at least the 
minimum organized teacher training, whereas 58% of the lower secondary teachers have received at least the minimum organized training uh, or the teacher training. So uh, for the goal four, we are uh, quite uh, progressing as we see that our uh, literacy rate is increasing. And goal five, we had the clean uh, water and sanitation facilities uh, that needed to be available. Whereas we see that the 44% of the total population of Pakistan does not have access to clean or potable drinking water in Pakistan. And 80% 80 of the rural population lack access to clean drinking water. So this goal is far from being achieved and we have a lot more to do to achieve uh, the goal of clean drinking water and sanitation because uh, 53,000 Pakistani children of under five years of age die annually because of diarrhea, which is due to the poor water and sanitation. So it is estimated that 70% of the households in Pakistan still drink bacterially contaminated water. So this is a, a very a fearful cause of concern that uh, need to be addressed. Uh, in other words, goal five is far from being achieved.